The future of the Western Ghats rainforest is dependent on these special birds. They have a very important job. They are the gardeners of the rainforest. The great hornbill is the largest species of hornbill found here in the Western Ghats. They do not plant seeds and fertilize like regular gardeners, but they do something that many rainforest trees cannot do themselves, spreading their seeds far and wide. I am Rohit Naniwadekar. I have been studying hornbills since 2007. Now our research has shown that in forests where there are good populations of hornbills, where hornbills occur in very high numbers, hornbills could be dispersing up to 2,000 to 3,000 seeds per day per square kilometer, such large seeds. Isn't that fascinating? Also, what our research has shown is that hornbills on average disperse the seeds about 250 meters away from the mother plant. But on occasions, they can disperse the seeds as far away as 13 kilometers from the parent. Isn't that fascinating? So then hornbills could occasionally disperse seeds across forest patches. They might help maintain the genetic connectivity or genetic between the plant populations. And also they help plants expand their ranges. During breeding, they nest in older trees. The female seals herself inside using mud and plant materials creating a great defense against predators and other cavity nesting birds. She remains in the nest for up to 120 days, while the male brings food for his lifelong mate and their chicks. Their diet consists of fruits, and it's these seeds that help the forest regenerate. I can't help but imagine that a great hornbill might have perched on this tree and would have dispersed the seeds here. And now we have this young, Canarium and young with CR plant. Fascinating. I am Pooja Pawar. I love hornbills and I have been studying them in the Western Ghats since 2015. Habitat fragmentation leads to the loss of nesting trees and food for hornbills. Our research has showed that hornbill populations have declined in the fragmented habitats over the years. The diversity of fruits in their diet is also low in such habitats. Hornbills and forest are so interdependent on each other that I can't imagine one without the other.